Hi guys, thanks so much for watching. Welcome to another video. Welcome especially if you're new. Also, if you're a current subscriber, thanks so much for sticking with me through my um, crazy and sporadic uploading schedule. So, um, today I have a new brand of sunglasses that only kind of launched a couple of months ago. I think, well, it's back in December, so that's about right. Um, and they reached out to me recently asking if I would mind doing an unboxing of their sunglasses. Of course, if they first asked me if I wanted to check out their products to see what I thought before um, I did it. And I was really actually surprised that they would ask me that I wanted to check it out first. And I really appreciated that. Um, and they kind of, I guess, wanted to see how I felt about the product before speaking about it, which is exactly what I like to do. And um, the fact that I got to check it out first and see what I thought about it and everything before um, them sending me the sunglasses was just really nice. So I just do want to go ahead and disclaim that they did send me this pair of sunglasses to review and to have myself. So thank you so much to Runners. Um, and so this is, this was gifted to me and I'll also denote that down below. Um, but this is a company called Runner Sunglasses and the, uh, the website is literally runnersunglasses.com. And, um, so they wanted to create running sunglasses. I mean, if you haven't deduced that already, then I'll put it even more plainly for you. But, you know, everyone is kind of doing this concept lately, but there's a couple of things that I really like about these glasses that other running sunglasses don't offer you. Um, so I wanted to unbox these and talk about them, review them right after I unbox them and everything like that. So let's get on into it. So the storage box is really nice as well. Um, this is something that you don't get with an average pair of running sunglasses. There are other companies that are doing this. Um, Gooder is one that I've heard of. Of course, I don't run personally, but I do other types of like exercising outside, but it's not as fast paced literally as running. Um, so um, it is important to me that my glasses are going to stay on, but not like stick to me or not be too tight. Um, but Gooder's glasses are not really anything I've ever wanted to check out. Um, and then another, Knock Around has recently released one too, and there are various other companies that are all on this bandwagon. But these are different in a lot of ways, so um, you're like, Kristen, please get on with it. So um, inside the packaging, um, you have a cleaning cloth that's all sealed up really nicely, a nice black checkered cleaning cloth, which also matches the same texture of the case. Um, and then there were protectors on everything. There was a protector over the lenses as well and two um, temple protective sleeves as well. So um, there's that. And then I love the other couple little things inside. There's a little sticker free for free. And then there is a, um, there's some Instagram information and just basically just like a small printout talking about the features. So um, I think it's amazing that they've gotten all this together. They've been around for such a short time already and yet they're, they have all this stuff that other, other companies doing the same thing don't have. So I'm going to talk about the sunglasses now. Um, so this is this is them, and <laughs> look at that. Uh, this is them, and this is the only shape that they currently have. It's a nice wayfarer shape, and they did say that they wanted to do this because of how suitable it is for every face size and shape. And I really believe you can't go wrong with a shape like this. I mean, I've never seen this shape not suit somebody, so I can definitely see why this was chosen. Now this is the color. Um, it's a matte tortoise um, with what appears to be kind of like a solid blue lens. It looks bluish gray, um, but this color code or like color choice is called Olympian. And then there are other ones too. Now this is a matte version and there's other matte versions with different like hardware colors. Okay, so just a couple of features real quick that are very important and make these stand out from the rest is that of course this is polycarbonate. They wanted it to be lightweight. You're not gonna wanna run with acetate on. I mean, I'm the biggest acetate fan and I'm not gonna wanna do that, let me tell you. So um, it's polycarbonate, but what I found interesting here is that they said it is resistant to sweat and chemicals. So the material will not break down over time. So you can sweat on them, drop them in water. I mean, basically do whatever with them on and it's not gonna deteriorate the frame. The lenses are also a um, UV 400, so they're category three polarized lens. They have an anti-scratch coating, and this is the most amazing part to me, they're anti-fog. So in the heat and cold, they're not gonna fog up, and that's just amazing to me. Where I live, it's very, very humid, and I mean, we walked outside yesterday and it felt just disgustingly sticky outside, and it's often like that, and it just makes me kinda cringe when my glasses get fogged up. I mean, it's not a big deal, but it's annoying. And um, the fact that you can take these, you step outside with them on, literally go on your walk or your run, and they're not gonna, you're not gonna have to take them off and try to 
of like defog them. I think that's a really cool aspect to the glasses and it's not something that I've found other people do very often. Um, so here is my actually my favorite part. So these are supposed to be no bounce and no slip, of course, because they're running glasses. But I thought, okay, they're going to come with like rubberized inlays. Like they're going to come with some sort of like, you know, the other companies that are doing this, they have like inlays on the end of the temples and on the inside of the bridge. And I mean, of course, how else are you going to get them to stay on? So I'm not faulting them for that. But I got these and there's nothing that, so they've engineered this this pair of glasses to the to where the ergonomics alone keep them on your head and so there's no need for any inlays here so I'm going to put them on so you can see this um, and I'll try to get a little bit closer hopefully so you can see to the end of my chair um, but a really nice color of course I love this color option with my hair but I already am looking at a couple of the other colors as well so yeah, there's something for everybody there with that um, lens is nice and dark really you know, cutting out my ring light right now, which is great. But um, the glasses, the, the tint of the lenses are perfect and um, very clear to look through as well. So that's very, very nice. Um, and right now, I mean, I'm not gonna, I can't like vigorously test these. I can't like go on a run like some of the other people can. Um, but all I know is I have like done a real good test before this review where I have like jumped up and down and like moved back and forth and leaned down and all that. And they have not gone anywhere. They literally will not move and there's no slippage there isn't you cannot get them to bounce even at all and they're extremely comfortable and all this has been accomplished just with the design of the way the temples go in it's a, such a secure fit right over top of your ears and it's so comfortable as well and the way that it's engineered i feel like is so that it can make contact at the back right behind your ears at the perfect place to where it's going to hold it and not slip. It kind of reminds me of the way like a bayonet temple design is. Bayonet temples, um, you know, of course go straight back. It's kind of like a paddle. This is definitely not that, but it reminds me a lot of it as far as like the ingenuity and the concept. So that's really interesting to me that they've managed to do this without any rubber pieces. Let me tell you why the rubber pieces would have bothered me because, you know, they're always getting makeup stuck in them if you wear makeup. And if you want to prop them up on your head, and this is for girls or guys, whoever it is, you're not going to want the rubber tangling in your hair. I mean, it rips out. It just hurts. Um, usually I don't wear my sunglasses on top of my head, but my polycarbonate pairs and my sports pairs, I definitely do. So comfortably I can do this and bring them right back down and it's just so smooth. And so the fact that they've done this without any rubber pieces again is like my number one uh, pro to these and my number one kind of surprise. So um, I think that's absolutely awesome. The last thing I haven't mentioned is the fact that of course they're spring hinges which is going to make for a very comfortable fit for just about anybody who puts them on. We talk about this all the time. I talk to you about all the time the fact that my glasses are too tight in places and I'm always having to do adjustments because they're causing pressure in the temple area and giving me headaches. Um, and I'm just sensitive there. Um, but a lot of people have that option, truth be told. Um, option? Obstacle? Wow, okay, I don't know what, what, what that was. A lot of people have that kind of problem happen though. And uh, so it's really great that they have a spring hinge in here. Also the hinge is hidden, um, so you're not gonna have any chemicals come, you know, come into contact with that. Even if you did, it would be fine. And it's situated here inside. The temple so it's absolutely perfect the design's perfect and um, everything that they've got going on with this is perfect for running or any other sports alike and I'm personally going to be using them for yoga where I live I go to um, do a little bit of yoga um, as the sunset is happening as the and um, later on in the evenings and so the sun is really really bright and I don't want to have to take my sunglasses off but I can do everything that I need to do without these slipping at all so very excited about that. Um, these are $65 on their site and you get all that you see um, in addition, I mean in addition to the glasses you get all that I showed you earlier. And if you want to check them out go to runnersunglasses.com. Again thank you so much to Runners, thank you so much to everybody for watching and supporting me and I really hope that you uh, have enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below, let me know what's going on with your February and what you're excited for coming up. and. Uh, I'm excited for Mardi Gras. You know what? I live in the South again, like the deep South. And I'm really excited to see how many beads I can fit on my neck and still be able to turn my head. So I'll catch back up with you on that one. Again, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.